The following problem was adapted from Harvard physics professor David Morin's textbook and weekly physics problems. It starts like this. For a given initial speed and inclination angle, how much distance y lower will a target be that is an x distance away? Suppose the projectile takes t seconds to reach the target and disappears after e seconds. At what theta will t equal e? It was part b that made me think of a problem that one can often run into while playing Minecraft. Think about it like this. You've designed a TNT cannon to hit your enemy's base. It fires at a 25 degree angle at 25 meters per second and is a horizontal 50 meters away from the base. It can hit it, but what is the difference and why between you and the base? Now the problem is, hypothetically, once the TNT reaches the base, they have time to place the water over it and negate the damage. So the question is, how do you increase the angle so that the TNT reaches the base as soon as it explodes? Let's start with part A. The only equations necessary from the standard gamut of projectile motion equations are delta x equals v cosine theta times time and delta y equals v sine theta times time plus one half times acceleration times time squared. For acceleration, TNT differs from the anvil and arrow we've calculated before in previous videos. I'll keep it strictly conceptual for this solve and call the acceleration 10 meters per second squared. Now, if we solve for time in the first equation and then plug it into the second equation, you'll get delta y equals v sine theta times delta x over v cosine theta plus one half times acceleration times delta x over v cosine theta squared. If you simplify this, you'll get the equation for the parabolic arc that a projectile generally follows. y equals tan theta times x plus gx squared over 2 v cosine theta squared. Now, if we plug in our given values, we can yield a change in y. This produces an answer of about negative 1.03 meters, indicating that the base would be below the launch point. Now let's take a look at the second problem. Let's say the TNT explodes after 6 seconds upon landing on the base. So we would need to find the time it takes to reach the base, add it to the 6, then find an angle for which the total time would be equal to this t plus e value. Let's generalize the solution first before we plug in values. We know that the time is equal to the change in horizontal distance divided by the velocity times cosine theta. So by simply changing it to the total explosion time, we can solve for the new angle. So the general formula would be the inverse cosine of the change in horizontal distance divided by time times velocity would equal the angle. Plugging in our known values will yield a total time of about 2.21 seconds, which we can add to the 6 seconds of the explosion time. We can take this 8.21 and plug it into our angle equation to yield an angle of about 75.9 degrees. So to reiterate, if you launch the TNT at this angle, as opposed to the initial 25 degrees, it will explode pretty much upon impact. While it's not the easiest thing to do to uh, adjust the angle of a TNT cannon in Minecraft, this was certainly a cool way to interpret an otherwise somewhat weird problem. When coming across these very conceptual and expression-based questions, it's useful to imagine a scenario and create a diagram just like I did.